Have you ever wondered what free sewing patterns are out there for sewists? Well, I've done the work for you and compiled the ultimate list of free sewing patterns and I cannot wait to share them with all of you. All right, so I'm so excited about today's video. I have scoured the internet and found the ultimate collection of free sewing patterns that are out there. Something that a lot of people who maybe have been sewing for years or are brand new to sewing don't realize is that there are one, a lot of amazing patterns that are out there on the internet for you to purchase or that are for free. So I wanted to film a video and kind of compile a list of some of my favorite free sewing patterns that are out there. If you are brand new to sewing, if you've been sewing for years, and you're just kind of looking for something new, maybe you wanna try out some new styles, new patterns, but maybe you don't wanna spend the money on them, there are some great free sewing patterns that are out there and I am so excited to share all of them with you in today's video. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot of awesome projects and videos that I have planned for this year and I don't want you to miss it, but I also want you to kind of join our fun sewist creative community here on my channel and follow along. So I am going to put the link for all of these free patterns in the description of this video so that you can check them out for yourself. But in this video, I'm gonna go through and share all of the patterns that I have found that are free. While there are so many free patterns on the internet, I chose the free patterns that fit either something that I would like and want to make that kind of fit the general styles that I tend to make and share here on my channel, or that are pieces that are in trend um, and up with kind of the latest fashions that people are wearing so that you would find them interesting and want to sew them because if you're anything like me you're wanting to sew and make all of your clothes rather than spend the money on them at the store um, and that's one of the great amazing things about knowing how to sew and knowing how to sew your own clothes so grab a hot beverage a cozy tea a coffee latte if it's cold where you are grab a cozy blanket um, it's a little chilly here in Wisconsin we've got some snow and we're in like the single digits right now so I've got a good warm jacket on my legs cozy sweater but let's dive into all of these free sewing patterns um, I'm so excited about these so we have a couple different categories we have dresses we have sets we have tops slash jackets and then we have bottoms and there's a lot of great options in all of these I'm going to kind of share why I like the different patterns that I'm talking about and also kind of the, the skill level that these different patterns would kind of be geared towards now I am definitely the kind of person who believes that anyone no matter their sewing level or skills can literally sew anything if you're willing to take risks make mistakes, learn along the way, challenge yourself, and apply critical thinking. So even if you're a beginner sewist, I really think beginners can tackle harder patterns if they're willing to learn new skills along the way. That's how I grew in my sewing skills, is just kind of continuously challenging myself with the things I was making, looking up YouTube videos, figuring out how to do things, and that's how you grow, especially if you are a self-taught sewist. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in. The first category is dresses, because you all know that I love a good dress, and I am so excited about all these free dress patterns, and you're going to be obsessed with them too, trust me. All right. Our first free pattern is from Mood Fabrics. Now, if you didn't know, Mood Fabrics is the famous fashion store in New York from Project Runway. But if you didn't know this, Mood has kind of a sewing blog called the Mood Sewing Society, and they have a huge resource library of free patterns in all different kind of styles and designs. And they have a lot of really awesome dresses. So the first dress that is a free pattern is the Tamarind Dress from Mood Fabrics. I actually made this dress last fall um, for my trip to Italy. I filmed a tutorial about it and I have not released it yet because the print of this dress that I chose to make is a green and yellow lemon dress. So it didn't really fit kind of the fall and winter, so, winter, so it's going to be released this year. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that. But I'm obsessed with this dress. I love the bodice of this with all of the ruching. And then it kind of has the fitted torso underneath. This skirt style is also really unique because it's a tiered skirt, but it has one really long tier. It's super flattering. This dress is originally created to be strapless and it does have boning, but you could take the boning out. And when I made this, I actually added straps, which was a really fun addition. But I think this is just a fabulous, very kind of sophisticated dress. 
You could make this in a cotton and have it more summery. You could make it in a fancier satiny fabric and have it more of kind of a formal dress. This dress is probably more of kind of the intermediate level for sewing. But I think that a beginner, if they are willing to apply some critical thinking and learn some new things, could definitely tackle this dress. Our next dress is also from Mood Sewing Society and it's a dress style that has been kind of really popular the last couple of years with sewists and that is the milkmaid dress. So if you've been wanting to make one of these, there are tons of patterns out there that you can buy. But the great thing about this one is that it's free. Um, so this has that very traditional milkmaid style, a very fitted torso, then it kind of has a drawstring kind of um, bust area bodice, it has some really dainty puff sleeves, and then it has the really gorgeous fitted kind of non-gathered straight a-line skirt and the great thing about this dress is that it kind of has these really gorgeous style lines under the bust and into the skirt they really elongate and look really flattering this dress would definitely be a beginner to intermediate pattern um so definitely check that one out all right next up we have two different dresses from mood sewing society as well there's a lot of dress patterns on the mood sewing society um so there's two for this there's the nettle dress and there's the clementine the nettle dress is the one that has multiple tiers and i believe that this dress you can kind of have it as a shorter kind of thigh length dress or it can be a midi dress so that one's really fun my favorite one out of these two though is the clementine i think the clementine dress is really interesting because it has this really interesting asymmetrical balance where if you cut it down the middle it's different on both sides but it has some really interesting style details like the cutout in the side the one shoulder with a puff sleeve it's very flowy too which i think is great this would be a fun dress to kind of make for a summer vacation or just like the spring summertime so that's a fun dress to check out and also the gingham that they made it in is really really cute the next dress is also from mood sewing society and this is the perth dress this is a really great kind of laid back comfortable dress with a fun detail so the front is very kind of simple you have um side bust starts then you have a gathered skirt the fun detail about this dress though is the back that has this kind of unique interesting kind of circular gathered detail so it's kind of a fun open back on the dress this would be a great summer dress you could make it out of a woven cotton you can make it out of a fun stretchy comfy knit as well this dress would probably fall into like the beginner category because it has a lot of really simple details and so i think anyone who's very new to sewing could easily tackle this dress and it's just a really kind of fun simple design that has a interesting kind of party in the back moment all right, next dress is also a free pattern from Mood Sewing Society, and it's the Mal dress. I really love this dress because I'm all about kind of oversized, flowy dresses. I think a lot of people also really like tiered dresses, and so this is a fun dress because it has some great tiers. It kind of has the selkie dress shape without being extremely fitted. It does have an empire waist bodice. It doesn't have any darts, so there's really no additional technical fitting um, you have puff sleeves and then you have like a gathered skirt and then a giant chunky ruffle at the bottom and it also has pockets which is awesome we love a dress with pockets so this would be a perfect dress if you are a beginner sewist i know that you would love this dress it would be very easy to sew and it would just be really fun in like a very fun print or you could do it in a solid it would be great for that as well so this is a great beginner dress pattern and i believe this dress also it does, looks like it doesn't even have a zipper so no technical difficult elements of sewing there just a lot of straight lines and gathers all right the next dress from mood is the mazel dress i wonder if they named this mazel from the tv show marvelous mrs mazel because this dress is very a vintage inspired silhouette and it fits that kind of 50s um vintage time frame i included this dress because i think it's just a great classic silhouette i think anyone who's looking for a really great classic dress this would be the style and shape you would want to go for i also included it because this kind of bodice is the style and shape of bodice that i use in most of my pattern making so if you are wanting to kind of have a base pattern kind of block that you can change the neckline on Add different sleeves to this style of bodice with the darts in the front right under the bust and then darts in the back you could essentially take this bodice sew it onto any style of skirt 
add any style of sleeves and you can change it up very very easily and so that's why I wanted to include this but I think it's also a really great just classic vintage silhouette it would make a fabulous kind of spring dress and then the little bow details are so cute and then I love kind of the dropped V kind of back of this dress as well I think it's really great this would be a beginner um, you just have to learn how to do darts and then intermediate would be a breeze as well all right, next is also from Mood, and this is the Bridgerton dress. If you're looking at the silhouette, you can probably obviously figure out why it's called the Bridgerton dress. Um, so if you are wanting to kind of incorporate some like 1800s empire waist silhouettes with really unique sleeves into your wardrobe or to sew that, this would be a great dress option. I also love this dress because I think this dress is very similar to the Selkie kind of silhouette. So this dress you could keep short, you can make it really poofy and make like your own version of the selkie dress. You could also lengthen the skirt on this and essentially make your own like 1800s Bridgerton costume or 1800s inspired dress as well. I'm obsessed with the sleeves on this dress because of the double puff sleeves um, are just so fun rather than a single puff sleeve why not have a double puff i mean it's awesome so there's so many options with this dress you can make it in a cotton you can make it in really fancy fun fabric and then this dress itself only has one layer for the skirt but if you added multiple layers you would get that extra selkie poof so a free pattern to make your own version of a selkie dress yes please I would say this dress is probably a little bit more in the intermediate category just because it has some additional stylized details with those sleeves and the various layers as well as the zipper and the darts. But if you are a beginner and you are wanting to continue learning and growing in your skills, I think this would be very doable for you. All right, the next free pattern is the Heather dress from Mood Sewing Society. I thought that this dress was so fun. I think that this would be a fabulous dress for the spring and summertime. You could even add sleeves onto this dress and it would be like a really great kind of fall winter dress. But I'm all about ruffles. Um, if you've seen a lot of my projects, I tend to put ruffles on the bottoms of most of my dresses and ruffles on bodices. So I love this double ruffle moment um, along the bodice. I think it is incredibly flattering, super fun, super feminine, super girly. I love the length. I love a good midi length dress and then I love the ruffle at the bottom. So I think this dress would be great beginner. You just have a lot of ruffles and gathers to do. Definitely doable for intermediate as well. All right, changing gears to a different website. These upcoming dresses are from a website called or a blog called The Thread. So I haven't actually like looked into this website a ton. It looks really interesting and she has a ton of free sewing patterns. So I've included a lot of those in this video um, and there also looks like there's a lot of other tutorials, there's a community, there's some stuff on textiles, but I am talking about it because there are a lot of free patterns on this website and I really loved her dresses. If you are more of kind of the minimalist capsule wardrobe, simple silhouettes, these are going to be the patterns for you. They're all pretty simple. All of these dresses of hers for these free patterns are made in linen. I'm a huge fan of natural fibers, so I love a good linen dress, but you can easily swap the fabric on all these dresses and make it whatever fabric you want. So the first dress is the Noor wrap dress. I love this silhouette so much. I think a wrap dress is a fabulous stable, staple in your closet, super easy to make. And I feel like this one you could make in solid, you could make in a really funky print and it would be such a cute dress to style. You could also change out these sleeves and add puff sleeves to have your own version of kind of an oversized loose wrap dress. So this is a great free pattern to check out. She also has the Avery tiered shirt dress. So if you are more of a kind of shirt dress style of person, more classic sportswear silhouettes. Um, going back to the wrap dress though, that's definitely easy beginner project. Slam dunk if you are intermediate. The tiered shirt dress, the tiers are totally easy to do if you're a beginner. Um, however, you're gonna have to learn how to do buttonholes and a collar. So there's a little bit more technical elements. I'm not a huge fan of putting buttons into a lot of my projects just because they're a little bit more time consuming, but this is a great dress to check out if you like the silhouette and the shape and the simplicity of it as well. All right, she also has the Jane Gathered Shirt Dress, which is another free pattern on this website, The Thread. Again, this is all linked in the description of this video. I love the fabric 
choice for this dress. I also love the pockets. I think it's so fun. This is a great kind of just lounge around the house, running errands dress, very comfortable. You have a lot of simple details. It's a very simple dress, but it's a great classic. Um, you have buttons down the front and you have a collar and you have satin sleeves. So very doable for a beginner. You might just have to learn some new skills. Very easy for an intermediate. Um, my favorite dress though from the Thread website is this smock dress. I just love it so much. I've been really into kind of oversized dresses recently. Basically anything that looks like a nightgown, I'm gonna love and wanna wear <laughs> and going to want to make. And so I love this smock dress. I love that the bodice is very short. Um, kind of at the chest and then you just have these fun gathers. So you could totally turn this into a nightgown. I personally think it's a really, really cute dress. I love it in this brown color. Perfect for a capsule wardrobe or someone who's into minimalist fashion. But you can also make this in a fun, funky print. A good sheet from the thrift store um, would just make this super great. You could add different sleeves to it as well. Um, and yeah, I just think this is a really great, easy dress. Perfect for a beginner because you don't have a lot of crazy style sewing details. She also styled this over pants, which I thought was so cute. So I kind of really want to make this pattern now, but that's another great free pattern for you to check out. Next up is a free pattern from Vicky Sews. Now Vicky Sews is a fabulous Instagram page and website with a great curation and collection of amazing sewing patterns. I've never used any of their sewing patterns, but a lot of sewists that I follow really love their patterns. They also have some great videos and tutorials on their Instagram and their website. Most of their patterns are not free. You do have to pay for them. They're very reasonably priced. This specific pattern though is free if you want to kind of check them out and see how their patterns sew up but it's also really fun kind of summer and spring dress it is shorter so if you're more into kind of the shorter styles this is going to be a dress for you it's also a little bit more fitted so not as flowy but we have those fun roughly details and the back of this dress is really cute because it kind of has an open back tie so Kind of a fun pop. We love a good fun pop and a good fun back. This would probably be more of the intermediate level of dress, but if you are getting more confident in your sewing skills, I think a beginner could definitely very easily tackle this. All right, if you are wanting a just very simple dress, the perfect dress for you, um, it's called the Simple Sundress and it's from a website called Engrassier. I believe that this is a French website. Um, it's called Grassier, so ngrassier.com. I'm probably completely butchering that pronunciation. They have a lot of different patterns. Um, the main thing to keep in mind though is that it is French, so their measurements and some of their terminology are going to be different. That's something to keep in mind with all patterns that you sew with. For the most part, um, Mood Sewing Society is very much your standard English pattern. Vicky Sews, I believe, is standard English. Um, the threads patterns, I have not sewn any of those, so I'm not sure if they are standard English measurements or European, but Grassier is definitely going to be different measurements and a little bit different sizing. So you're just gonna have to be specific and following the directions for that. Um, but we have that fun, simple sundress. This is very easy, beginner friendly. Lots of straight lines, no kind of crazy fitting details, no gathers, doesn't look like there's a ton of darts. So this is just a fun, simple throw on sundress, a good cover up, a good layering dress. You can make it in solid colors. You can make it in print. So there is that sundress for you. All right, we have a couple more patterns. And the next one is also from Engrassier, um, which is the kind of European French website. And this is just a simple tent dress. I always like to have like one just kind of easy throw on flowy tent dress in my closet. They're great for just layering jackets over, layering shirts underneath. And so this is just a very fun flowy dress. Very simple to make, easy beginner pattern project because you don't have any crazy fitting details. So very easy to tackle as a beginner. All right, and our last sewing pattern for our dresses category is the Maya Ruffle dress and or top. 
from DIY Maya. And if you aren't following her, she has a really interesting Instagram. She has really fun, colorful fashions, but she has this free sewing pattern. That's just this awesome, great loose dress. It has these fun kind of flowy, ruffly sleeves. And then it also has pockets and just a skirt front and back. So she just walks you through how to grid all of this out, cut out your pieces, um, and sew it for yourself. She also has a TikTok video to accompany this. And the great thing about this pattern is I actually think it's not a downloadable pattern. She just walks you through the measurements because it's essentially tons of squares, rectangles, and then you sew it all together and it makes the dress. So we love a good make your own pattern moment. And this is just a fun dress as well. I love flowy, loose dresses. And I think the skirt on this is great and the sleeves are really, really fun. So that is our last free pattern for the dresses. Tons of awesome dresses to choose from. Drop a comment below and let me know which of the dresses was your favorite and which one you are like really excited to try out the pattern for and make this year. All right, next up we have our sets. Um, I think I only have like two sets to share, but both of these were really, really fun. So what I love about sets is that you get two different pieces. You have your tops and your bottoms. You can wear them together because obviously lounge sets, um, pajama looking sets are really in fashion right now. But the great thing about them is that it's kind of a two for one, three for one moment. You wear them together as one outfit. You can wear the top with something else as its own outfit and you can wear the bottoms and the pants with something else as their own outfit. So you actually get a lot of wears from sets. So the first free pattern set is a lounge set from Mood and I just think this is so fun. I love the top for this one. You have this fun kind of statement collar, the sleeves with the ruffles at the bottom are super fun and then these pants are just way too cool i love a good statement pant or ruffle and so this would be great in like a knit comfy cozy stretchy cotton fabric um, as just a lounge around the house but like look chic you could also make this in a satin and make it like a kind of daily sleeper moment really chic with a cute pair of heels or shoes you could make this in a fun print cotton wear them together as pajamas wear them as a lounge set wear them as a chic going out set um, and wear each piece individually i would say that these are definitely more of the intermediate level because you have the collar and the buttons on that shirt and those are a little bit more technical but again as you are growing in your sewing skills if you are a beginner you can very easily look up some videos and figure out how to do this um, and then you'll know how to do buttons and know how to do collars the next set is actually a sleepwear set from Mood Sewing Society. It's the Linden sleepwear set. I just thought this was the cutest little set of pajamas. Um, you could also use this top as like a cute summery uh, camisole. These shorts are a great short pattern. If you are into kind of the boxer short style, this would be a great free pattern to check out for those. Or you make them wear them together. Um, you can make them in a fun satin. You can make them in a fun checkered, gingham, floral, cotton you name it. I think this is a great easy beginner pattern. Um, so a cute little sleeper set for you to check out as a free pattern. All right, next up we are going into the bodices. So we have definitely gone through a ton of free patterns already, but we're going to continue chugging because I want to keep sharing all of these awesome free patterns with you to check out. And as you're watching this video, um, hopefully you're getting some ideas for sewing projects that you want to do this year. So the first free sewing pattern for the tops is going to be the Veronica blouse from Mood. I thought that this blouse was so fun. It's very kind of a peasanty style of blouse. But if you are looking for a great blouse that is just really flowy, this would look great with some high-waisted jeans with a midi skirt, maxi skirt. It's a great flowy top. Um, I would definitely say this is going to be more of an intermediate project because you have um, a lot of gathering. You have the ruffles around the neckline, ruffles around the cuffs, and then you also have like the looped buttons. So some more technical elements there. So I would definitely say this is more of an intermediate sewing pattern. Also, I wanted to include some sleeve pattern hacks or a sleeve pattern pack in the bodices. Um, so this is a free pattern for Mood Sewing Society with four different sleeve patterns. Here's the thing about sleeve patterns that I want you to know. This is like my huge sewing tip. 
any pattern you are sewing, even if it already has a sleeve, you can ditch the sleeve for that pattern and add any style of sleeve you want to that pattern. So if something has a very fitted long sleeve, but you're like, I don't want that, I want a puff sleeve, find a puff sleeve sewing pattern piece, cut that out and sew it on to the other pattern. You can mix and match pattern pieces together to create your ultimate pattern. Um, a lot of sewists call it like Frankenstein patterning, uh, patterning where you're just mix and mixing and matching different things together. Um, so say this, you are going to want all of these fun sleeves. Um, you have a classic number two, it's just a regular puff sleeve. Number one, I love, it's a tiered puff. puff. Number four is a long kind of puff, balloony, flowy sleeve. Number three is a really interesting kind of puff, ruffle, bow moment. Any of these sleeves, you can sew onto any of the dresses that I talked about in the first part of this video. You can also take all these sleeves and add them to basically any of the bodices that I'm talking about. So you can automatically elevate a dress or a top to kind of a different style by changing the sleeve. So there's my tip definitely check out this free sleeve pattern. All right, we also have the Cardinal Blouse from Mood. I thought that this was really fun. I specifically love the version that has all of the ruffles. That's kind of like piratey, but like pirate chic. And depending on the fabric you use, I think that this is really gonna tie into those fun, kind of Scandi uh, style of blouses that we are seeing. This is also a really easy top to make. Um, so the one without the ruffles is going to be easier than the one with, with ruffles, but I think that both of these would very easily be a beginner to an intermediate project. So that's the free Cardinal Blouse from Mood Sewing Society. All right, next up is a pattern that I know all of you are going to love because it's a style that is very popular in the spring and summer. And version B, I think it's a really popular bodice style that I've been seeing a lot of people wearing and making recently. So these are two different tops that utilize shearing. So this is going to be more of an intermediate sewing pattern only because the technique of shearing. Now go look up a video on shearing and you can very easily learn how to do it. So that's a great skill to learn if you're new to sewing and you're a beginner. Shearing is not actually that hard. You just have to figure out how to do it and set your sewing machine up to do it. So two really fun little tops that you can make for the spring and summertime. And you should check those out on Mood Sewing Society. All right, I threw in one jacket pattern into the bodices and this is the Paola workwear jacket from the Thread website that we talked about some of the dresses from. This is fabulous jacket. Like the fact that this jacket pattern is free is just insane because it is one of those fabulous double pocket kind of um, industrial jackets. Make this out of a canvas, stunning. Like stunning jacket. And all of the top stitching details, absolutely love. This is going to be an intermediate to an advanced pattern just because of some of the more technical seam details. But once you learn how to do it, super duper easy. Um, so check that out. I think you could also totally use this jacket pattern to make like a quilt jacket. So that'd be fun as well. All right, next up is the skirts. Only have two free skirt patterns. Most of the free patterns that I came across were pants, jumpsuits, dresses, and tops. So we have two free skirt patterns. I think you're gonna like both of them. The first one is from Ingrassier, and it is a silk skirt. So this is going to be a cut on the bias skirt out of a silky satiny fabric. It's going to be one of those skirts that kind of just hurt, like kind of falls and drapes around your curves. A good silk satiny skirt. It's kind of a nice classic piece to have in your wardrobe. You can mix it and match it with lots of different bodices and sweaters and I just think it's a piece that everyone should have. But there is that pattern for you. That one is going to be probably high level beginner to intermediate only because it's cut on the bias and sewing things on the bias are a little bit trickier than not on the bias, but it's worth tackling if you wanna learn how to do that. All right, the next free pattern is the Sabrina skirt from The Little Pomegranate. It's just like a sewing and fashion blog, um, but it's a really easy skirt. You have like a ruffle at the bottom, a an elastic waistband, so it'd be very easy for beginner sewing and just a great basic mini skirt. All right, our last category is the jumpsuits and pants for free patterns. There's actually a lot of really great 
free sewing patterns for pants and a lot of free sewing patterns for jumpsuits. So some of them are from the Mood uh, blog, the Mood Sewing Society. So the first pair of pants we have is the Adair cargo pants. These are from Mood Sewing Society and these are a really fun pair of cargo pants. Cargo pants are I feel like always going in and out of fashion but I feel like a lot of people are wearing them right now. So you could make these out of a nice kind of canvas. You could make them out of a fun print or you could also make them out of a more like flowy fabric and have them be more like loungewear kind of cargo pants. So these are definitely more of the kind of advanced sewing, not because they are incredibly difficult. There's just a lot of like technical sewing details to take into consideration, a lot of top stitching and all the different pockets, um, plus a different way of installing a zipper. So not completely um, undoable for a beginner, but definitely a little bit more on the advanced side. Then we have the Heath jumpsuit from Mood Swing Society. This is a great just kind of classic jumpsuit. A lot of people also call them like boiler suits. They're kind of like stylish coveralls in a way. Um, and so I really like these or this pattern specifically. Um, definitely would be a little bit more of an advanced sewing because of your collar, your lap zipper, and then just the jumpsuit itself. Sewing everything together and getting a good fit on it would be probably a little bit more complicated but it's a really fun free pattern that's out there so you might as well give it a try then we have a couple pair of free pants patterns from the thread blog which i have shared a couple of those different patterns already in this video so these are the wide leg culottes so these are just a great um elastic waistband that has kind of some over stitching details so it looks really good when it's done not just like elastic in a channel and then your culotte kind of shape is going to be a little bit looser wider and then you have pockets so this would be a great pattern as um, kind of a staple for any pants that you want to make you could easily add ruffles to these you would lengthen them and make them full length pants. You can keep them at the culotte length. So this would be a good free pattern to check out because I always love having a good like standard pants pattern that I can alter and turn into different kinds of pants, use for different projects. And so this would be a great pattern to check out for that. Then we have the Sloan fitted jumpsuit, which is a free jumpsuit pattern also from the Thread website. And this looks like a really kind of fun jumpsuit. To me, it definitely is more of kind of your minimalist capsule wardrobe type of jumpsuit. Um, but that really just depends on like the fabric that you use for it. You have some fun kind of giant like buttons down the front and then you don't actually have sleeves on this um they're just like little cap sleeves that come off the bodice so this could probably be a beginner pattern if not beginner um more of kind of intermediate as well so a fun another jumpsuit to check out then we have this play suit from peppermint magazine so peppermint magazine is i believe it's an australian i think sewing magazine I might be wrong on that but they have a lot of patterns on their website and how their patterns work typically is they're either free or it's pay what you feel is fair um not all of them have the free option and obviously you always have the option to give a little bit you can pay anywhere i think from like two dollars to ten to twenty dollars for their patterns but this is a fun play suit that actually comes as a free option and i feel like everyone always loves a good play suit so you could make this in a linen you can make it in a woven cotton or even kind of a knit kind of stretchy cotton would be really fun. Great for the summertime as a cover up or just something for like lounging around the house. And this would be very easy to make as a fun beginner project and then intermediate. It would be very doable. Then we have the free um, wide leg pants pattern also from Peppermint Magazine. And again, this is another fabulous pair of pants i feel like usually pant patterns are a little bit more pricey and sometimes it's also hard to find a really good pant pattern and all the ones that i included and found for this video are actually like really good styles of pants you might just have to alter and tweak some of the fitting details of pants which is pretty common when you're making pants to fit it to yourself but we all love a good wide pair of pants and so this is a great free pattern to make your perfect pair of like wide leg pants. You could make it in a denim or you could make kind of a fun print out of these as well. But I wanted to include some really staple pant 
patterns that were free because like jump on the ball on that um i think they're totally worth it and i want to try out some of these patterns just to see how they sew again keep in mind some of these are from different countries so their measurements and the way that they kind of construct their patterns and their seam allowance might be different than the typical american pattern so always make sure like you're reading the instructions for those and that is the last free pattern for the pants category and that wraps up all of the free patterns for this video so there are a lot i didn't even count up all of these but i feel like there's probably maybe 15 or so maybe there's more than that um and hopefully out of all of these free patterns that i've shared today you are inspired to check out some of them get some ideas for some fun sewing projects and realize that there's actually a lot of really cute patterns that are out there that are free and hopefully after watching this video you've realized that there's actually a ton of awesome cute free sewing patterns that are out there i know that I came across a lot of really cute patterns just preparing for this video and definitely want to check some of these out. So after watching and hearing all of their free patterns that I have shared in this video, I want to hear from you. Which one was your favorite? Which one do you want to make? Um, don't forget the link for all of these patterns is in the description of this video. So check them out and then share with me what sewing projects do you want to try and create and make after hearing about all of these awesome free patterns. And if you've come across any of your own free patterns that you really like, share the link for those in the comment section of this video as well so that I can check it out and other sewists who are watching this video can check it out as well. And without further ado, that's a wrap on this free sewing pattern video. I hope that you got some ideas for future projects, realize that there's a ton of awesome patterns out there that are completely free and at your disposal and are maybe wanting to branch out and try some different styles and learn some different techniques. I had so much fun creating and curating all of these free patterns to share with all of you and hopefully I made your job a little bit easier because you don't actually have to go and search for all of these free patterns now. If you do try some of these make sure to tag me and share your creations with me so that I can see what you created and what you make. As always thank you so much for watching this video. It's so much fun to create these and share my love and passion for sewing with all of you to connect with you in the comment section to see what you are liking and I hope that throughout the rest of this year we can continue to grow this fabulous sewing community here in my channel. If you haven't done so already make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell me what you liked specifically in the comments and make sure as always you are subscribed to my channel so that you can stay updated on future videos. Thanks again. Bye.